G'day everyone, welcome back to the Spontaneous Collection. Today's project, I will be stripping this yoke apart for its copper. There's the copper right there. You will see all that is good quality copper waiting to be taken. Now you may be familiar with these yokes, if you're not, these yokes are from TV sets, CRT glass tube TV sets. Uh, they're located on the back and they are fairly well hidden if you haven't gone digging around in the unit before. So, for today, the tools you will need is a pair of side cutters and a screwdriver. Just a flat blade standard screwdriver. The way these yokes are assembled is in two hemispheres. You'll notice this winding here is separated from that winding there. That is because they come apart in two halves, same as this plastic casing does. You will notice there is a line going straight down there, straight down there, and alternatively straight up there as well. So that's where the plastic casing will split apart. So that is where we will split these apart to dismantle them. But before we can do that, we need to get this glue off. Some manufacturers use a lot of glue, like in this case, and others use a little bit. So if you just chip away at this, it will easily come away. So just peel away at it. The goal is to separate it from that ferrite. You'll also notice there are some clips on the plastic. If you have a look at these lines here, follow them along the outside, you will find clips in here. Just cut away at those. And you may find some clips on the top half here. Yeah. Okay, here's one I've prepared earlier. It is a slightly smaller model compared to the one I've just shown you, but it is manufactured in the exact same way. Alrighty, let's get started. With your standard screwdriver, start prying some things off. That's just an old connector, we don't need that. Now you'll see that is where the case splits from, but wait, first we get onto this bit here. Now you'll also notice we've got clips. These metallic clips keep these two semicircle or hemispheres together. There's another clip there, keeping these two together. What I like to do is get my screwdriver under it and pry it off. Now do be careful because these do come flying off. Safety first, as a friend of mine would say. And we go to the other one and off it comes. So now we've got two clips, and if you get your screwdriver, put it between the two sections, pry it off, make your way to the other side, and there you have it. That's what you get. That ferrite is surrounded with copper. So what I now then do is I get my side cutters and proceed to snip these off. Now 
you could choose to unwind this if you did, but I've tried that. It takes about 30 seconds to snip all this off, whereas it'll take you a couple of minutes if you were to unwind that manually by hand. Totally up to you, but I like to save a bit of time. There's not a lot of wastage when snipping it like this, as long as you've got a sharp pair of side cutters. So there you have it. There it is there. That's what you get from one ferrite winding. Now for the inner core. You'll notice we've taken all the copper out of the outside. Now it's time for the inside. So once you've managed to cut off your clips, this will come away much easier. And there you have it. There's one. There's two. So that gets discarded. That can be recycled. But these are what we're after. Good bit of copper right there. Alright, let's have a look and see what these weigh. Okay, now we're going to weigh the copper and see what we've got. So that's our two halves. That's 140, let's say 147 grams. And these are from the outer winding. That's 91 and a half. So there you have it. There's not much to it at all. Let me know what you think. If you'd like, dislike, or just want to comment, feel free. I'd love it if you could share or even subscribe. Good luck with your endeavours. Until next time, have fun.